every year it kind of seems to get a whole lot harder and you know, there's a whole lot more pressure to perform and I think you know the last couple of weeks I raced in Taiwan last weekend as well it's, it's like I've gone back to the amateur days and I'm just so nervous you know in the morning when I'm eating my breakfast and you know this morning before the food start as well. It's such an, an incredible race and Frank and his team, just every year it seems to get better and better and there's more people here, you know, supporting the race and the course is exceptional and, you know, it's a big thank you to Frank and his team for doing that and a massive thank you to the, the sponsors who allow this race to go ahead. I mean, how good is it that everybody got a meal? Oh, that was hard. <laughs> um, I don't know if it was a smart move to go from the gun, but um, I'm sure it was a painful one. I saw you know, the boys <coughs> were a little bit average in transition, and early on I looked back and I was like, well, I don't see anybody, so if you're going to go, you've got to go hard. It kind of makes me want to cry, actually. Like I said, I never thought I'd be the athlete when I started triathlon. To get four times for this race is pretty incredible. Yeah, thanks very much to everyone who supports me to come back here and do it again. I think Frank and his team and you know the sponsors and whatnot need to hear it again. And we go around the world and, and we do many races and you know people often ask, where's the best place you've ever gone? And I always say, well it's Rotorua. And um, they think, oh you must be pretty biased, eh? But um, <laughs> it really is. I mean Frank, I think, you know, sets the gold standard for, for all X Terra World Tour races around the world. We had a pretty clean start and you know, the nerves kind of disappeared pretty quickly and I managed to get a little damp in transition. I, I think Sissons was having tea and coffee or I don't know what he's doing, buttering his scones. Um, I saw that, you know, like this little opportunity coming out of transition, it, it was like, the gap was not a lot. I looked back and I thought, there's a gap there, I'm gonna go. And then it kind of dawned on me not long after that I locked myself into a very long, very solo day. I was able to get the edge, I guess, today and put the hammer down with 2k to go on the run, which was probably a little bit early for 2k sprint, <laughs> was uh, not really the way I wanted to finish the race, but pulled it off and yeah, just really special to win here again and win for the third time in a row. So thank you very much to all of you guys for enjoying the race with us and just being here and supporting the event.